Okay guys, I just finished my shift, got some food, and then I'm going to go in there and do some interviews really quickly. I know I have two lined up for sure, so I'm going to go in there and do that, and then afterwards, it'll be time to go home because I am worn out. I did all the volunteering, and now I'm just ready to go home and go to sleep. Look at some cool stuff, so let's go. And this is Ernie Snugs, guys. So I'm gonna hand this to my cameraman. Cameraman, get over here. <laughs> this is Ernie I, I, right I love here. That cameraman doesn't have a name. It's just <laughs> no. cameraman. Cameraman. That's the, the best okay. superhero ever. You know? <laughs> I've seen in any event. Who's there? Cameraman. cameraman. That's right. Who's capturing the footage? Cameraman. cameraman. <laughs> Who forgot to film? Cameraman. <laughs> So you have a thing for beautiful robots, huh? I do. Uh, I'll have, robots. I'll, you'll be happy to know the future is heading in a direction where you're going to totally strive. I know. <laughs> I'm from Japan. I, so, tell us, how long have you been doing this? Now, in terms of the art, in terms of the drawing and stuff, as long as I can remember, okay. uh, I, I, can, I can't really recall a, a starting point. Uh, my mom tells me pretty much the second I was holding a crayon, I was doodling away. But then again, who wasn't holding a crayon at one point? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sticking with it and working at it, I'm still nowhere near where I want to be, but name an artist that is. The second you find, and this is a note for everyone at home, the second you find a complacent artist is the second you've lost an artist because I cannot think of a single artist who sits there and goes, I'm happy with this now. I'm done. No, that is far from the case. But uh, in terms of doing the shows and stuff, uh, this is my starting of, uh, start, as of September will be my third year. Um, and it's, it's just one of those things, it's like, it's always been something in the back of my mind to do, but I really never had, never had much of an outlet for it, you know? And uh, in my hometown of Florence, South Carolina, uh, I have had the luck and blessing to be dealing with the folks over at Legends Comics and the Florence Comic Con. It's really where I got started with doing this kind of thing and uh, getting involved with local shows and stuff of that nature. And uh, I honestly would not be here if not for the, the guys at Legends, uh, at the Forest Comic Con, uh, getting me involved, uh, being part of the planning committee, selling my art there, coming to shows like this and, 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 and repping the show. Uh, it's been an absolute blast from moment one. So yeah, without them, uh, without that, and, and I definitely want to be able to sit here and say, uh, with this opportunity, uh, anytime a camera's in front of me, I jump on any opportunity to speak in front of it. Bless you people with this. Um, <laughs> Uh, with that said, though, guys, do that. If you're not familiar with us in Florence, of course, Comic Con, come and see us. Uh, we follow the date this year of September 11th. I know it sounds a little unfortunate to say out loud, but I assure you, we've been doing the second September, uh, second weekend of every September since the beginning. Uh, numbers have been growing year by year. I don't even want to begin to, to talk about that. Just know that for a sleepy little town. There is a lot of people in that area that want to be a part of something like this and have done so, and it's been an absolute blast for us. So come be a part of that. You know, we're we're a real homegrown style of con. We, we, our focus is in artists and vendors and people who have something special that don't really get a chance to to, to give it out much. You know, you think of an area like Florence, you don't really think of there must be a lot of great artists and and comic vendors and cosplayers. Believe it or not, there are. It's just now we have an outlet for it, you know, and it's it's growing from there. Cool. So where can we find? Can you have? Do you have like an online store or something? 
Well, I'll say it like this, an online store, I even heard the wool cut just got just now for that. <laughs> I'm still currently working on that. Okay. I'm still currently working on that. But, as it stands right now, uh, my DeviantArt page, Zombie Ernie yeah, the, at the yard, um, Facebook, well, again, wherever you decide to find me, uh, my cards are available. I'll be glad to give you one if you want to use it to text up on screen. Yeah. Can, do we have After Effects? Do we, can we do little, like, little explosions of text? We can do little, we can, we can put text up there for sure. So. I yes. certainly hope the guys at Nerds of the Apocalypse are watching this. You hear that? She's giving me explosions <laughs> with my name. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's where you can find me. I do, you know, commission work if you're interested. Uh, my prints and so forth. Uh, anything you can find available at one of the shows where I'm at, which, by the by, I just want to point out, my next show coming up will be Giga Toshu in uh, Walter Girl. It's going to be amazing. Um, <clears throat> nonetheless, Florence is a definite where you'll find me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yes, Florence Comic Con. I can't say that. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll make this fast. But yes, if you want to look for me, find me there online as well. Come and see me at a show. Don't be afraid to talk to me, hug me, smell me. I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 